Hello folks, this is Charles with Total Focus Lawn Services. I just wanted to give you a review of this uh, Cub Cadet RTZL that I picked up from Home Depot uh, about a week and a half ago. Uh, it's a 46 inch cut uh, with a, with a, with a uh, fabricated deck. Um, and uh, uh, it's uh, brand new as you can see. Uh, I'll only put it like uh, five hours on it, but you know, uh, after operating it for a little while, uh, it's, it's a pretty good, decent backup more. Uh, I use it in my lawn service business mainly just to uh, get into small gates uh, at cust at, on, on customers' uh, lawns. Uh, when I can't get in the gate with that, uh, I normally uh, use this walk behind this uh, Cub Cadet CC800 uh, that I purchased a couple of months ago. But um, everyone knows that uh, riding is better than walking. So, uh, you know, this is a mode that I just uh, bought uh, at the spur of the moment uh, because the, the one that I was using uh, is on that trailer right there. It's a Cub Cadet uh, uh, 50 inch. And uh, it kind of like, you know, started giving me some serious problems. I thought it was at, at its wit's end, but, you know, I was able to, get it home and get it fixed but you know i had already purchased this one so you know uh yeah i like this one um i i imagine you can see from all the cup cadets that i have that i'm uh pretty much a cup cadet guy but you know i also have a a john deere uh 60 and zero turn that i mainly use i only use this one uh pretty much uh basically about uh 25 percent of the time the other time i use the uh uh, 60 inch uh, John Deere zero uh, zero turn, but this one um, It's pretty good. Like I said, it's one that I had to buy at uh, spur of the moment um, I wanted to get a commercial, but you know at the time, you know commercials I couldn't afford a commercial cost of, uh, You know a commercial lawnmowers there. They're pretty pricey. This one cost around like three grand uh, And I think it's pretty well worth it. You know, I like it, you know it's got, uh, it doesn't have a real high top speed. It goes about seven to eight miles per hour, but you know, I don't actually really need that much, you know, unless I'm transporting it or getting ready to load it or something like that. But you know, it comes with these uh, tires. These are not uh, full pneumatic tires. They, you know, they do, they do take air, which is one thing I'm not too excited about. You know, um, everyone knows if you got low pressure in your tires, it's going to cause the uh cause uh uneven cuts so you know uh it would have been nice to have some um uh, tires that uh are fully pneumatic where you wouldn't have to uh worry about uh depression and everything uh, again like i said it's a 48 inch cut it's got some nice uh, uh turf saver tires on the back of it um early when i bought it i thought it had like uh three blades on it but it only has two uh as you can see up there it only has two blades uh, i had to had had the chance to convert them over uh at this point you know um like i said i, don't, I just only had it like a week and a half and it uh uh it actually still has standard blades on it but later on i plan on putting uh mulching blades on it uh but see it you as it, as you see it comes equipped uh, with this um, Honda engine on it, uh, most of them uh, have um, either Kawasaki or Kohler, but this particular model, uh, I forgot what uh, actually year it is. I think it's maybe like a 2016 and everything, but it has the uh, GXV 630, 630 engine. It's about, uh, uh, let me see, I think it's like, uh, yeah, I think it's, 630 uh, cc uh, and that's kind of like equivalent to like uh, I believe uh, 20 horsepower uh, it has your uh, ignition key on it uh, it has your choke uh, your throttle um, and it also has your PTO everything right here and it also comes with Bluetooth so I guess when you link it link it to your uh, uh, phone uh, someone at Cub Cadet I'll actually send you a reminder 
uh, telling you that, you know, it's time to change all the poor routine maintenance on it or whatever, but I, I never bothered with that. I don't actually uh, um, think I'll ever be using that. But, you know, uh, you know, like I said, I, I was looking at one with the uh, steering wheel on it, but I just didn't really care for the one with steering wheel, but I, so I got the one with the lap bar. And these are your parking brakes right here. Uh, that's the way you actually start it. It's got to be uh, in the open parking brake position um, in order uh, to get it cranked. Um, it comes with an uh, oil filter on it. Uh, it looks like it's rather uh, easily access accessible. So if you need to, you know, once you change your oil, you want to change your filter, you should be able to get your hand down in there uh, and be able to change that filter. Then you got your battery. Uh, you got a uh, cup holder. Um, you also got uh, a little, I guess, a little uh, uh, storage area where you can keep your cell phones and everything. It comes in the back. What I like about it is got uh, the capability to put a hitch on it. Uh, that's not uh, on my mind right now, but it does have that capability if you actually need it. Then it has these little hooks on the back uh, that you know you pull out and change put in a certain position if you ever find yourself needing to actually manually pull it uh this is the the, the one mold that uh uh again i hadn't uh really planned on buying it i was looking at getting the cub cadet uh lx 48 uh which is i actually have like uh two gas tanks on it i think uh one 2.8 gallon uh, tank on one side and a 2.8 on, on the other side. But this model right here, uh, again, like I said, this is the um, the RTZL uh, and it only has one gas tank. Uh, and this gas tank here is about uh, 2.8 2 .8 gallons. Um, I wish it had a little wider neck on it uh, for filling up gas, but you know, that's not a big deal it's not a deal breaker and everything uh, again like I said this is brand new I haven't really I actually broken it in yet but you know once it's come time to uh, change oil you know I guess I'll either be going with that mobile one full synthetic uh, or that uh, mobile one annual protection whichever you know, I find that you know that mobile one annual protection I actually use it in my vehicle uh, and it kind of like felt like it's a, it, you know, it felt like the engine, you know, got, got a little tighter or something, you know, had a little bit more power about using that oil. I'm not trying to sell that oil or guarantee it or nothing like that, but that's what it felt like to me. So, you know, if it can uh, help protect that F-150 that's got a little over 100,000 miles on it, it probably should be able to protect this, uh, help protect these moors, the lawnmowers as well, you know. In my opinion, it's just nothing but the best because, you know, you kind of like want your equipment to last uh, for, for a pretty good while. And the engine is the main component, engine and the transmission. And I think, um, I think uh, if I can get up under here, I can get a look and find, I think it has dual transmissions on it, uh, dual transaction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, is one on the right hand side on the, on the back of the right wheel then there's uh, one on the left hand side um, and uh, you know like I said those look like they might be uh, refillable uh, in case you ever get low on oil it look like there's a plug on top of them where you can actually ref re re refill the oil but uh, again like I said this looks like you know how transmissions are, they can be a little bit expensive if those ever go out. Uh, <laughs> you're probably gonna have probably gonna have some serious problems. But then again, like I said, it's brand new, it's still on the warranty. Um and it's uh uh again, like I said, it's a really pretty it's a, it's a pretty good mower. It, you know, it cuts well even with the standard blades on it. But again, like I said, I plan on uh switching it over to uh to mulching blades and everything, but all in all, you know, again, like I said, it's a nice more. I like it. One of the best things I like about Cub Cadet, not saying that other mowers don't have it, but I, you know, haven't shopped all the other brands. I just have Cub Cadet on my mind, and I like the way 
they have this high lift um, um, a blade, a high lift a deck, deck level where you know where you got uh, really tall grass, um, you can cut it high uh, and, uh, and not have a whole lot of grass clippings. Then you can go back and turn around and cut it again, cut it a little bit lower, uh, and that'll uh, actually minimize uh, the grass clippings that you'll have to. Uh, actually clean up but uh, all in all it's a pretty good mower uh, I think here up under this I haven't actually had the opportunity to take this plate up but I think this right here gives you access to your blades and to your pulleys uh, to where you can actually lubricate them and another thing I like about cup because that's when it comes time to maybe change in belts or something like that or you have to uh, actually uh, remove the deck it's, it's really easy you got one uh, uh, pin in the front and you got two uh, pins on the right and that's pretty much basically that's, that's it let me look and make sure before I tell someone yeah that's that's pretty much basically that's that's it you unhook those three and uh, you know you can actually take the deck off and, and service it and Probably put it back on real easy, a one man job, you know. So, uh, that's right. My review, uh, if anyone's looking for a uh, relatively inexpensive uh, zero turn for residential purposes, uh, you know, you might want to check out, uh, you know, Cub Cadet, uh, you know. But uh, to me, uh, it's just uh, something I use to kind of like help me out of my business, you know. I don't, like I said, I don't use it. Uh, all the time I cut like eight to ten lawns a day and I only use this like 25% of the time most of the time I use the John Deere zero turn uh, But that's my review. Hope it helps. Have a good day